Hi everybody, it's Sarah from um, Cuddle With This Book. This is in my mailbox for January 15th, 2012. Can you believe it? Um, in my mailbox is hosted by the Story Siren. Cursed yet the Story Siren, I'm sorry. Um, I got, I just got back from the library, so <laughs> mostly I have library books for this week. Um, but from that galley, I received Jersey Angel. Here's the cover. You can't see it. There's no title or the author, so. Um, but it's by Bethan Bauman, and it's, I, I, I think it's a pretty sexual book, it seems, um, but it also seems good. Um, I'm not sure if it's a debut or not, but it's from Random House Children's Books, and I think it came, comes out in June. I should have, I should have looked, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I also got Lies Beneath, um, which is a, a book about mermaids. And here's the cover, and I know that this is a debut. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that that well. It's dark, because I have a, uh, a black and white Kindle. But this comes out June 12th, it tells me right here, and it's, um, Delacorte Press, and it is by Anne Greenwood Brown. So, and I know that's a debut. So, check it out when it comes out in uh, June. It's from NetGalley, so thank you, NetGalley. I really appreciate the books. Um, so, I'm going to go on to this is uh, library books. And, um, if you don't utilize your library, I really think you should, because the library is amazing, it's an amazing place to get books, and they're free, and so, why not? Anyway, I'm just picking books out of the bag, because I just got home, so I'm just going to, Um, I got Stay With Me by Paul Griffin. I actually have this on my Kindle, but... For some reason, I don't want to read it on my Kindle. I want to read it in, I guess, like, I don't know, person. I want the actual book. So um, I found it at the library. It's like, yes. And I don't know. I think Kindle is reserved for Nat Galley right now. So I feel guilty reading anything else um, on my Kindle. I also got, uh, oh, yeah, I said Paul Griffin, right? Okay. Tristan Izzy. By um, Met Ivy Harrison, and um, I've heard good things and I've heard bad things about this one, so I just want to check it out and see for myself. Um, the Virgin. I haven't read this yet. It's by Veronica Ross um, or Roth. I'm sorry. Uh, I I've heard really good things about it, so I feel like I really really have to read it. So I think I'm finally going to do that, except I still haven't read The Hunger Games. My friends are really mad at me. They really want me to read it. And I will. I will. Um, I just haven't yet. Um, Possess by Gretchen McNeil. I was on the Story Sirens website the other day in her voting, and this was for one of the most underrated, uh, I guess, um, sci-fi books maybe I don't know if it was sci-fi or not but it was under most underrated and I never heard of it before and then I saw it and I wanted to pick it up because it's uh yeah it's apparently about exorcism so it's probably going to scare the absolute crap out of me that'll be fun especially for my roommate um I got exposed by Suzanne Vaught. I don't know. She wrote another book that I really like. She wrote uh, The Big Fat Manifesto. And I really liked it. And I think this is about uh, a chat room or something. <laughs> or something, yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure yet. But exposed. And I'm going to read it. So. Yeah, when I go to the library, I tend to pick up way too many books. 
and people get mad at me for that, especially my friends. They're like, Sarah, you have so many books under your bed. Like, I, I, I have, like, a shoe container, one of those long shoe things under my bed. Maybe I'll show you next week. But, uh, yeah, and it's full. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got Paper Covers Rock by Jenny Hubbard, and I'm really excited for her new book, which I can't remember what it's called right now. Um... I don't remember, but, yeah, I want to read that, I've wanted to read that, and we have Glimpse, ooh, so pretty, by um, Carol Lynch Williams, I've never read her before, but, um, I don't know, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a a novel in verse and I really want to read more poetry and more novels in verse because we learn <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry we learn more about um, poetry and creative writing uh, this past last semester and I just feel like I should read more of it so that maybe I can get better at it myself I'm not good at poetry and I have a couple more I got Don't Stop Now by Ju Julie Halpern. And for some reason, I didn't think this was out yet. I don't know why. But it's a road trip book, and I love road trip books. One of my favorite road trip book is um, Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Mats Matson. I love it. If you haven't read it, you really have to because it's amazing. It's seriously one of my favorite books in the whole world. It's so good. I can't wait for um, her next book because she's just so good. I got Deadly Cool. I've been hearing good things about this. So, um, and then I think Social Suicide is coming out soon too. And I read the back and it's, I don't know if it's, um, paranormal or anything but it it sounds like a detective book and it sounds like a mystery and it sounds like it's going to interest me so I'm going to read that it's by Gemma Halliday I'm sorry I forgot to say that deadly cool and I got Ripple by Mandy Hubbard this is about a siren who falls in love apparently and I um, don't I don't know, but it sounds good. And I just want to, you know, show some of the books that I got before just to, because I haven't done this in a while and I have a couple more minutes. Or just say what I got, maybe. Um, I got Welcome Caller, It's Me, Chloe. Or Welcome Caller, Call It's Chloe. From Mac Daly, and I really appreciate that. I got, these are all on my little shelf on my desk. Don't Breathe a Word by Holly Kupala. Um, La, the Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. <sighs> Bittersweet by Sarah Ockler. Shatter Me by Tahara Maffey. And I got Cinder by Marissa Meyer. So those are just a couple of the other books that I happened to get uh, in the last few weeks and I'm excited for reading them I just have too many <laughs> um, so let me know what you got this week because it's exciting um, I will see you next week so until then have a great week bye